now we have to discuss about the annual allowance charge so if total contribution on which relief is obtained is uh, exceed the annual allowance available then double a charge is applicable for example our double a is 40000 and the amount of relief is available 50000 as it exceeds the double a this 10000 is reflected as double a charge and you have to pay tax on this this double a charge is to be considered as a non saving income and it is to be taxed after all other sources of income that is non saving dividend and interest as a last slice of income so it is to be considered at the end of all the income that is being taxed for example we have been given trading income of 1 lakh 5000 pound gross contribution into personal pension scheme that is 90000 and there is no unused brought forward allowances available calculate the amount of relief and income tax liability so we know that the current year uh, annual allowance is 40000 and the uh, contribution is 90000 so first of all we have to identify the amount of relief that is how much relief is available so as far as the amount of relief is concerned we know the rule that it is higher of 600 and 100 percent of relevant earning that's 100 percent of relevant earning and trading income is part of relevant earning so you can see that uh, from this i can extract the higher of figure and that is higher of figure is 10500 now from this higher of i have to consider lower of and that lower of is the amount of contribution and that contribution is 90,000 and the maximum annual amount that is 105,000 and from this I have, choose, I have chosen 90,000 and this is the amount of relief so the contribution is 90,000 and the amount of relief is also 90,000 so how we will get relief? We will get relief on this 90,000 that 20% of this 90,000 it is to be submitted by HMRC and the remaining 80% that is 70,000 is to be deposited by us. So this is the basic benefit that we'll get and we'll extend the tax band both basic and higher rate by the gross contribution that is 90,000. In this way, our basic rate band will become 37,500 plus 90,000. So this will end at 1,27,500. Now one important thing is that our double A for the tax year 19 and 20 is 40,000. But the tax relief that we obtained is 90,000 as th this is greater than double a so a double a charge is applicable and that is 50000 so a double a charge of 50000 is applicable so on the basis of that now we'll calculate our income tax liability so first of all i have trading income and that trading income is 105000 
and from which I have to deduct my personal allowance. Now, personal allowance calculation. You have to identify A and I. So if you calculate A and I, so A and I is less than 100,000. And that is uh, as A and I is less than 100,000. So the whole 12,500 is applicable. So this is our taxable income, non saving taxable income, and that is 92,500. Now I have to calculate income tax liability. So the basic rate is applicable. The whole 92,500 falls in basic rate because the basic rate band is extended to 1,27,500. This is 20% liability of 18,500. Now we have double A charge but this double A charge is partially falls in basic rate and partially falls in the higher rate. So the difference is 35,000 and basic charge is taxable at the rate of 20% partially and the additional basic double A charge is to be taxed at higher rate. In this way, my income tax liability becomes thirty one thousand five hundred. Moving forward, let's discuss another, another question. Mr. A earned one hundred thousand pounds and made a gross contribution of eighty six thousand in nineteen twenty. Gross TPC has been given for the past few years. Calculate income tax liability of 19 and 20. So let's see whether we will have an annual allowance charge or not. So from this example, you can conclude that How much is available? It depends on the value. So we have uh, available contribution of uh, 86,000. But first of all, let me just find out the unused allowance brought forward. So as far as unused allowance is concerned, in 16 and 17, that is uh, 23,000 is unused. In 17, 18, it's not available, it is already used. In 18 and 19, we have availability 6,000. In this way, we have unused allowance brought forward is 23,000 is fine, but in 17 and 18. We have used the contribution 50,000 and from that what we have used is 40,000 from the current year. So 10,000 from the previous year. So we have to deduct the previous year 10,000 and from 1819 we have uh, 40,000 minus 34,000, 6,000 available. 
in this way we have uh, availability of 19,000 rather than 29,000. So now we have uh, current year double A that is 40,000. So we have uh, 59,000 of annual allowance available. As the annual allowance is 59,000 and the contribution, I have to check the contribution. So I'll find out the amount of relief. To the higher off and lower off method. So first of all, earning is 100,000 and contribution is 86,000. So higher off is 100,000 and lower off is 86,000, which is same as contribution. So you can see that uh, the 20% is paid by tax authority. 17200 and what we will pay into the funds that is 86,000 into 80 percent and that is 68,800 so this is total gross contribution the band will be extended by the amount of relief that is 86,000 and the first band will be up to 1,23,500. Now you have to calculate uh, the double A charge. So you can see that uh, Our annual allowance brought forward is 59,000. Our uh, contribution or relief is 86,000. And our annual allowance, including the brought forward figure, is 59,000. So it's 27,000 of double A charge. And uh, the income was 100,000. So if we deduct personal allowance of 12,500, we will get a figure of 87,500 of taxable income. Now in this, we have to calculate income tax liability. So the basic rate is applicable up to 87,500 multiplied by 20% that is 17,500 now the whole of double a charge falls in basic rate band and double a charge is 27,000 so rate of 20% is applicable and income tax liability is 22,900. So this is the overall concept of double A charge. So you can calculate uh, the tax on double A charge. But as far as the annual allowance calculation is cons considered, we have to consider some other rules when sometimes annual allowance is reduced and sometimes annual allowance is increased. So restriction of annual allowance. Remember that we are just checking the restriction on the current year annual allowance that is 40,000 of 19 and 20 and for which we have to consider two concepts. One is called the threshold income. Another is called the adjusted income. So the rule is that if threshold income is 
less than equal to 1 lakh 10,000. There is no restriction on annual allowance. The annual allowance will be available fully, that is 40,000. And if threshold income is greater than 1 lakh 10,000, but adjusted income is less than equal to 1 lakh 50,000, again AA will be 40,000. But if threshold income is greater than 1 lakh 10,000, and similarly adjusted income is also greater than 1 lakh 50,000, then double A will be reduced. For example, how we can calculate reduction? Assuming we have uh, adjusted income, so we'll compare adjusted income with 1 lakh 50,000 limit, and the excess is to be multiplied by 50%. So for example, if adjusted income is 160,000, so the excess is 10,000 and we have reduction of 5,000. So double A of 19, 20, 40,000, reduction is 5,000 and the 19, 20 double A available is 35,000. Remember that the maximum reduction is up to 10,000. For example, if you reduce double A, and the answer is less than 10,000. So you have to restrict your double A to 10,000. So in this way, we have considered the rule that the double A is reduced due to increase income and double A is increased because of the unused brought forward allowances. First, we will apply the reduction and then you will add the unused brought forward allowances and then you will compare with the gross contribution in order to find out the double A charge. Now what is threshold income and what is the adjusted income? For your examination purpose, the definitions are the threshold income is net income, that is total income minus relief, minus gross PPC. This is, this is different than the A and I definition where we deduct gross PPC and gift at donation both but we have to decree, deduct gross PPC only. Now, as far as adjusted income is concerned, the net income figure, and instead of deducting something, we have to add employee contribution into occupational pension scheme. Remember, employee contribution of occupational pension scheme rather than personal pension scheme. And all contribution by employer into pension scheme, whether it's uh, uh, contribution related to occupational pension scheme or personal pension scheme, personal pension scheme or personal pension contribution. Now let's solve this question. So we have been provided with the information of occupational pension scheme, employees contribution, employers contribution, taxable employment income which is a relevant earnings. Mr. A is having th this type of income, B and C. Calculate annual allowance for tax year 1920 of each individual. So we have to find out the annual allowance available. So first of all, let's talk about uh, A and uh, you can see we have to calculate uh, our adjusted income. So in this way, there is no personal pension contribution and taxable employment income is 1 lakh 10,000. So as it's uh, 1 lakh 10,000, you can see the net income is 1 lakh 10,000. And the rule says that uh, if threshold income is uh, up to 1 lakh 10,000, no restriction, and double A is 40,000. So, from this, you can see that uh, double A is double A will be for A, for A, double A will be 40,000 because. So, sure income is. 1 lakh 10,000. If you try to calculate uh, the adjusted income, 
then employer contribution and employee contribution add together and this becomes 1 lakh 45 thousand and it is it is less than 1 lakh 50 thousand so in this way we can say that double a will be 40 thousand so now as far as uh, the other one is concerned b we can see that the income is beyond the amount so we have to calculate the figures so for b let's find out so the adjusted income of b by definition we have net income of 220000 and we have to add employer contribution and employee contribution so we have employee contribution of 8000 and also employer contribution of 2000 and resulting adjusted income is 230000 and at, as it's more than 150000 so we have to calculate annual allowance figure and annual allowance figure says that for 1920 double a is 40000 and there is reduction and that is 230000 minus 150000 multiply by 50 percent you can see that uh, answer is 80,000, 40,000, but uh, the amount is restricted, so we'll only deduct 30,000. This amount is restricted. So instead of deducting the 40,000 figure, we have just deducted enough to get 10,000. Now the third one, C is having contribution of 12,000 and 20,000 and a taxable employment income of 160,000. So from the point of view of C, the adjusted income. So we have uh, net income of 160,000 and contribution by both employee contribution twelve thousand and employer contribution that is twenty thousand total is one lakh ninety thousand so adjusted income is more than One lakh fifty thousand. So my annual allowance of current year would be nineteen twenty. Double A is forty thousand. So there is a reduction, and one lakh ninety two thousand minus one lakh fifty thousand into fifty percent. So forty two thousand is the excess. And the half is 21,000. Deductions we will get 19,000 of double A for the year 19 and 20. Assuming there is no brought forward available, so we can use this amount as the calculation.